also sparred with the popular English heavyweight Dave Allen. He's been in with all sorts and tonight he's in with a big German in Nikita Putilov. The super heavies pack a punch. When we get underway, you will not want to blink. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is band number 51, which is a super heavyweight semi-final scheduled for three rounds of three minutes and introducing your boxers. Firstly, boxing out of the red corner, wearing all red and representing Germany. Give it a far, Nikita Putilov. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent across the ring, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing all blue, representing the Netherlands. Give it up for Stan Burton's. Your referee at the bell, representing Wales, Mr. Gary Meredith. So the two giants are brought together in centre ring. Dwarfing the referee. And I think from wherever you're watching this Round one. around the world on the BBC iPlayer, the BBC Sport website, you might feel the action because these are two enormous men in the super heavyweight division. 92 kilos plus. Stan Burton's of the Netherlands in blue. And Nikita Putilov of Germany in the red. And they're both feeling each other out a little bit. Both in the orthodox stance, leading with the left hand. The jabs. You'll feel them through the TV, no doubt. But Burton's is the one who's taken the centre ring early doors. Putulov looking to work from the outside. Burton's has the measure of that advance. And that's a good snap jab from the man in the blue. Straight down the middle. Putilov took it well. God, he's looking to wing in some big shots. If they land, well, like we saw from Pat Brown in the lighter weight, the heavyweight earlier on. These are the super heavies, don't forget. When these big men hit, you know about it. Putilov lands the biggest shot so far in the contest. And again, and that's a standing count. Really rocked back the head of Stan Burton's, the Dutchman, and the referee stepped in. And Burton's was pretty furious that that was a standing count he felt that he rode that punch well but Putilov makes early inroads in this contest the man in red oh it's nice work throwing four punches at a time upstairs downstairs working the body as well and Burton's who's been in with Tyson Fury sparring is coming off second best from the early exchanges that's a great shot again from Putilov the lead left hook Burton's is covering up. He's felt the power a couple of times from Putilov, including when the referee brought in the standing eight count. So Putilov in red is the younger man, 21 years young. Big guy. Both of them, enormous men. And Putilov actually took gold in the inaugural World Boxing Cup event. That was in Cologne back in November looking to double down and take a back-to-back -back gold this is the weight class of Delicious Ori who you might well know popular great British boxer already qualified for the Olympics but he was beaten in his opening round and these two could well be boxers to watch as we work towards the Olympics in Paris this summer Putilov looks really talented at the weight the man in red Twenty-five knockout victories in his amateur career. And that doesn't happen in Olympic star boxing. I suppose it does when you're talking about the super duper heavyweights, as these guys are the biggest in the business. So there's the split screen. Let's see how the judges have seen that opening. Two 10-8 rounds from the judges because of the standing eight count. All of them have gone in favour of the German in red, who looks completely relaxed in the German corner. He's had success on the international cycle. He won the Boxeye tournament, which is a prestigious one 
in Debrecen, Hungary. That was last year. Also one in Cologne. And he's the reigning European under-22 champion, and he is not yet 22. Want to see the shot that led Second to the standing out. count? That was it. The lead Second left. Burton didn't like that the referee engaged the count, but... The referee felt he needed to take the sting out of the fight after the cleanest of punches landed on his temple. Kutilov is really confident. He's got the longer reach. And he's making it count towards his advantage here, the German in the red. But Burton's is unleashing a bit of leather himself in this second round. Oh, that's smart work. Look at this. This is like watching a young Vladimir Klitschko. Second count of the fight. Burton sent to his neutral corner for a standing eight. The referee's having a close look and invites him to box on. Putilov throwing a barrage of punches. He's had a standing count in each of the rounds so far, and I think he senses the stoppage, but his shoelace has come undone here, Putilov. And the referee is stepping in, and that will just neuter his advances. He was really taking control of that second round. Huge damage inflicted with those huge punches to head and body. And Burton comes back to the centre of the ring, but Putilov senses that he can get this done inside the distance here. Looks like a young even Drago in there, doesn't he, the German? Certainly one to watch. And it's Burton's who's been in the sparring ring with Tyson Fury and others, but if I'm a heavyweight pro, I'm phoning up the guy in the red. Come and spar with me. Get me ready for my next bout. He's a, a real talent from what we've seen from the opening five minutes of this super heavyweight semi-final. Leads in with the uppercut. Burton's rode that well. Ducked away. Ah, uh, his timing was the call from the German fans behind us, and it was timing that landed that lead right hand and another one. Putilov ducks and throws the overhand right. It's causing more than a couple of problems. The duck is the trigger for that overhand right. Burton's just seems to have seen it coming the last couple of times. Now Burton's is trying to throw some punches himself, the Dutchman in blue. Well, Putilov knows he's well and truly in control here. Two of the judges scored it 10-8 in the first round with the standing eight count. He's had a standing eight count in this second round as well. 22 seconds to go in this second. And now he's winging in the left. I think we need to see a little bit more from the Dutchman. The referee might ask to see more from the Dutchman because he's got so much to do. So far behind on the judges' scorecards, so I'm going to have to say... I think that's going to be a shutout in favour of the man in red from Germany. Yeah, once again, two of the judges going with a 10-8. The Swedish judge has scored both rounds 10-8. So it's a wide lead in favour of the German on the left of your screen in the red vest. And I think the referee will be asking to see more from the Dutchman because he's so far behind on the scorecards that ultimately the referee won't want to see him ship any needless damage in the final round of this super heavyweight semi-final. The best of the work has come from Putilov. That was just before his shoelace came undone and had it not, well he might have been able to press forward for the stoppage. Seconds out. Third and last round. Okay, the last three minutes of the first of these super heavyweight semi-finals. Putilov, the German in the red, is two up on the scorecards against Dan Burtons of the Netherlands in the very sweaty blue vest. So Putilov has the center of the ring, pouring out with that lead left hand, searching for his range, but it's the right that does the damage, the backhand right, when he gets in range and feels comfortable enough to throw the leather. 
it causes huge problems for the Dutchman. So penultimate fight of the night here live on BBC Sport on the website and on the iPlayer. World Boxing have put on a real show in collaboration with GB Boxing here in Sheffield. World Boxing's mission is to keep Olympic star boxing in the Olympics. So far, it's not guaranteed to be in Los Angeles. Putilov throwing a jab down to the body. It's not the jab that does the damage, but Burton's is starting to turn up the heat a little bit, forcing the man in red into the blue corner, but he's done well to dance his way out of trouble. So all night, Kieran MacDonald, who's been on co-commentary with me, we've excused him now. He would have explained to us that when you're so far ahead on the scorecards, two rounds up, well, you might well ease off a little bit because you want to have something in the tank for the finals tomorrow. And I think that's what we're seeing from Nikita Putilov right now. The job is more than two-thirds done. Standing counts in both of the first two rounds for the German. Into the last minute five seconds of this fight Burton's has done a better job in this third round but that may well be because Putilov has just taken his foot off the gas ever so slightly left gets through from Stan Burton's in the blue vest oh here comes Putilov he's parked it for the last couple of minutes what's he got for the final 60 seconds I mean, it is frightening when these guys throw combination punches, and that's what Burton's was trying to do. They are super heavies, of course. You could end it with a stoppage. Oh, lead left was caught. And it's a third count of the night. Putilov caught one coming in, but he followed up. And the referee says, I have seen enough. There is no need for you, Stan Burton's, to take any more damage. You can't catch him. And Nikita Putilov reaches the final inside the distance. Impressive show from the German. So the first of our super heavyweight finalists is now known. The stand-up boxer from Germany, Nikita Putilov. And he'll face either Omar Schier of Norway or Nelvi Tiafak who's also German in the final tomorrow and we'll see those two exchange leather in just a few minutes time okay ladies and gentlemen band number 51 please show your appreciation for both boxers so ladies and gentlemen your referee stopped the contest in round number three giving you your winner and boxing out of the red corner it's Nikita Putilov a round of applause both boxers but real quality from the big German. Won the gold in Cologne at the World Boxing Cup in November. And now he's looking to double down. 21 years old. Frightening to think what he might go on to achieve in the world of boxing. The danger came when he released more than one punch at a time. His combination work was stellar. That was the shot in the first round that brought the referee in for the first standing count. Into the second and the barrage continued. Putilov went to work upstairs, downstairs, Burton's covering up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the final bout 